Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Andy Spacey. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to show you a quick workout just using a Pavla handle and a set of dumbbells. So let's stop talking and let's get it on. So we just we've done a general warm up and now we're just going to increase our dynamic range of movement with some basic swings, rotational movement on the shoulder using this fantastic tool from Heroic Sport. Breathe in, breathe out. And change. Nice and relaxed. Go with how you feel. We're just generally increasing the movement there. Increasing the load in which we're putting on the muscles. Ready for the main meat of the workout using the dumbbells. Let's go in another direction. Five is a good number for this. And then just change. And then we just alternate backwards and forwards from left to right. Show some shoulders the love that they deserve. Nice and simple. But very, very beneficial. Now, if you haven't got a set of Pavla handles, you can always use the dumbbell body itself just to create a bit of force a bit of tension through the muscle as it changes its plane and direction. And then we can start to just put a little bit of a flow into it. Nice and simple. If you want to find out any more about the Pavla handle, go on to heroicsport.com. All the information you need is on there. Fantastic tool. All we're going to use today is a set of cheap dumbbells. These are from Decathlon in Europe. These are only five kilos, the plates are two kilos each, the bar's probably about a kilo, so around about five-ish kilos, six kilos. What we're going to do is what's known as the Renegade system. This is how I started way, way, way back in the beginning. This little routine was fantastic and it stuck with me for over 20 years. So we're going to get started from a press-up position what's also known as the renegade position your arms are underneath your chest your heels are pushing back this means it locks off the glutes and the abdominals giving you a solid base 
through the hips and through the shoulders. The key is to push the heels back and not let them come forward as much. Simple. You're going to hold the and grip the dumbbells in a tight position. And from this position, we're just going to row one, alternate two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's easy as that, but it's simple, but it's hard. You want to stop your body from shifting like this or like this you want to keep it tight so when you row you minimize how much movement there is this is all about putting your abdominals in an environment where they have to stabilize themselves in between each set give yourself 30 to 45 seconds push your heels back squeeze your glutes Lock off your abdominals, but still be able to breathe behind the shield. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give yourself 30 seconds rest. If you've got a partner, you can challenge each other. You only have as much time to rest as it takes them to do the sets. If you're balanced out even fitness, then it ain't too bad. But if one is a little bit stronger than the other, it really makes it challenging for the underdog. Gives them that fighting spirit, a bit of camaraderie. But always be safe. Be mindful of what you're doing. And you want to be putting these weights down as if you're putting them down on eggshells. You're not plunking. These are old rattly weights so they make a bit of noise but the principle is the same. We're all about developing this core. Okay, the second part of the exercise is the renegade kickback. So, we row it up, we kick it back. Two three, four, five, and down, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, this is all about putting stress on the abdominals. Yes, there's a shoulder workout, the bicep and the triceps are going to be involved, and so the forearms with the grip, you don't say you have to be mindful that you are holding the weight, the weight will move, but you're in control of that. You can also rotate it, one, two, three. Good extension on the kickback. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So the same principles involved. Lock yourself off. Try and minimize how much you rotate or shift to the side, kick back. It's all about creating this environment where you're stabilizing. This will do you justice later on as the weights get heavier and also have great carryover effects. If you are doing combative sports, or if you're doing jiu-jitsu or anything where you're transitioning from one position from the other and you're going tri tripod or bilateral it's all about creating that solid stable environment in which the four limbs can work from we're just doing three sets now when I'm training this on my own I go for five sets of each five five and five but for to demonstrate purposes today, it's just three sets. So one, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. So up to this point, you would have done the six sets. You've done the three sets of the Renegade Rows. You've done the three sets of the Renegade Row Kickbacks. Now we're putting the final element, which is a press up row kickback. So here, you have to roll the weights apart slightly to allow to get a nice deep press. Back up, the weights will come back in. Control them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's a challenging workout. That's layered so it gets harder and harder and harder. Now, you might find that's too much for you at the end. So, you could just do that on its own. Or you could do one of the other sets, whether it's just a row or just a row kickback, and that. The choice is up to you. Everybody's individual. Everybody has different strength, different endurances within different body parts. But remember the main focus by using this, in this context, is to create an environment where the abdominals have to work to stabilize through the hips and through the shoulders. It's not just about the abs on the front. You've got your obliques, your intercostas, all the posterior chain. It's a great exercise that's overlooked by many. I was able to build a phenomenal core strength by starting off using this exercise. And this was the gateway into many other exercises like the flags or the leg raises or wipers. Fantastic, and if all you've got is a set of cheap six kilo, five kilo dumbbells, this will work. Nice and deep. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. that's a tough little workout no ego there that is tough I mean I'm feeling it you can hear I'm out of breath there's an oxygen debt there my shoulders my triceps can definitely feel it my, my core is firing so now 30 45 30 to 45 seconds less is enough. We can get up, shake it out, move around. Now if you are doing it with a partner, each other, you can watch each other's form. You can look how straight the back is. Ideally, you can have a straight line from your shoulder going through your hip through to your ankle. But there is always a bit of variation. But try and keep it in check as much as you can. And if you're helping your partner, 
try and guide them, support them. You can also, if they are shifting over a little bit on their hips, you can put your fingers just on the width of the hips as it, so they've got a, a parameter in which to work to. Because sometimes where you think your body is, isn't actually where it is. One more set. So, heels back, glutes locked, abdominals engaged, arms underneath the chest, down, lock off, one. Drive up, lock off, two. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five. Now you can see there, I'm working, the muscles are starting to shake, fatigue. That's it, that's good. Leave it at that. Simple. 2 kg dumbbells, uh, kg weights. The bars, like I say, a kilo or so. Not very heavy. An add-on from that, you can just go straight in and do a clean and press just to shake, shake it off, but still working it. But that's another video to come. Now, I can just finish off with doing some nice, simple recovery swings. just to loosen off the body. And I think intense, just nice. Removing the lactic acid. and relax just feel so nice now simple effective quick shower get ready and you get to work you've done something that is intelligent that's going to be beneficial show your shoulders some love thank you for watching Great to see you here on YouTube and uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.